Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, look who's with us again, Art. It's Bill Jordan, the man who is embracing the boom for all of us. You mean Bill Jordan of Embrace the Boom? And that's what I mean. Shameless yeah. plug. Hey, Bill, that's it. that's the way we see you on your. Um, yeah, uh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, why was that? Why did you do that? Why did you hide your face? Why do you think I hid my face? Ah, uh, right. Radio. <laughs> Man was in radio. Uh, speaking of uh, speaking of hiding your face, no. Speaking of uh, embrace the boom, which is how we met you, and we've uh, actually <laughs> having a lot of fun. We've embraced Bill Jordan. Um, yeah. You uh, embrace the boom uh, was just something you thought about for a while back, and you uh, started playing around with it. And how's it going? Well, it's doing well. I, I mean, I get a lot of good messages from folks who. Uh, are baby boomers. And again, that's what this is for. It's for embracing where we are in life. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, you are by definition a baby boomer, as I am. And we were born to and raised by members of our greatest generation. And so um, I think that we owe it to them because they sacrificed so much. I mean, they, my parents lived through the Depression. My dad served in World War II. My mom was part of the war effort here at home. And then they came back and rebuilt our country. And I mean, when they talk about World War II, these men and women did nothing short of save the world. And I think we owe it to them to live our best lives and not to just kind of run out the clock. And I know the whole notion of embrace the boom is not meant for everybody because there are some people of my age and maybe a little older, quite content to, to yeah, run out the clock. But I wanna to try to get better and smarter and stronger and lighter. I still want to be the best person I can be for whatever reason. I don't know why I have this compulsion to do that, but I do. I want to just get better. And so embrace the boom. I like the sound of it. I like alliteration. Embrace the boom. Like, um, And people are buying the mugs and they're, they are embracing it. Uh, I have a Facebook page now, my public page that uh, right at around 18,000 followers. Now, when I left radio seven and a half years ago, um, a little over seven years ago, I had 1,300 followers. And that's not necessarily so much of a dig me other than I've just been consistent with posts every day that I try to make you laugh, think, or cry. I try to move the emotions because emotions are what tell us that we're alive. And, um, it's a, it's a positive thing. It's just a positive thing. I understand that there are challenges as we get older. I understand that when I get up in the morning, maybe my right knee isn't working like it was when I went to bed. I hurt myself in my sleep. There are things that happen as we get older, but there's still positive things. I'm gonna be a grandfather for the third time coming up in October. This is great stuff. And so I just wanna celebrate it. Yeah, well, we, uh, John and I have been uh, celebrating uh our boom years as well, and I find you just absolutely fun uh, because you you make uh, a lot of good philosophical points, but you also poke fun at yourself and absolutely. and uh, and our boom years, and uh, you just uh, you've become a good friend, uh, somebody we I just enjoy that. chatting with. Well, I would love to, you know, I'd love to jut out to sunny California and sit down and have a cup of coffee with social distancing with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, right now, I think we're at the appropriate, we're only about 3,000 miles apart. And yeah. uh, when we're on the phone, I actually wear a mask when I speak to you, just, you know, out of an abundance of caution. Uh, you know, uh, we'd love to have you out here. We're looking forward to, I, I remember uh, when I was in uh, one of the Carolinas, uh, uh, not so many, uh, 60 years ago, uh, I was at a camp uh, paid for by the government. Uh, but it was a Carolina, so nothing was finer than being, it was just outside of Savannah. Uh, so uh, we're looking forward to uh, maybe doing a live uh, interview in the Carolinas at maybe one of your favorite beaches. Man, I would love it. We've got some great ones down here, and uh, they've just opened them up for uh, tourism and short-term rentals, and people are anxious to get back. And again, in a guarded fashion, Um it's going to be a while. I, I, I was set with the, my wife and I were set to go with friends to a Michael Bublé concert in Raleigh, 
back on March 20th, just before we went on the air, I just, uh, uh, I say went on the air, because we started the, the uh, video blog here. Uh, I got a notice that he has rescheduled till next March here in Raleigh. So virtually a, a year apart, but they're coming back. So we're going to get back to whether whether people want to call it the new normal or not. I think we're going to get back to pretty close. Just everybody still needs to be a little a little guarded, I think. Speaking of Bill, Bouvray, I, speaking of Bouvray, did you catch uh, Manolo on uh, James Cordon the other night? If not, no. You have to go. You have to go to his. You have to go to his. You know wherever his YouTube thing is. Apparently, either he was just on or is just about to be on uh, James Cordon. Oh, for the uh, carpool karaoke or or some such thing. Yeah. Probably that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'll be great. That'll Bill, be great. Uh, I just want to say that what I really love about Embrace the Boom, uh, everything about your movement uh, for those of us in the boomer generation is the positivity because um, you mentioned um, how we owe it to our parents, to the greatest generation to you know, make the best we can. Sure. I, I've found throughout life that there, people of our generation are not always positive. People, there is a... Sometimes, sometimes it's the person. Some people are just negative, but sometimes we go through sections where we're um, we can't see the the light. We can't see the positivity, and uh, um, there's a lot of whiners out there. Quite frankly, well, uh, they from. could be thirty, they could be fifty, uh, but there's whiners who are sixty and seventy as well. So I really like your positivity. I like your uh, fifteen practices, the the good advice. Uh, very philosophical, but really practical too. So, well, you know, I, I struggle with them too. The other day, I was having a hard time with uh, stay in the present. I was having a hard time with that. Yeah. Uh, um, I've managed to knock some weight off during this quarantine time by focusing on one of the practices of don't compromise what you want most for what you want now. So, okay, I want to lose weight. I also want some of those Hershey chocolate nuggets that are in the pantry. <laughs> Right. So, you know, maybe I'll have one. Maybe I'll have one or two a day. Uh, but I don't sit there and just sit down with a bag or sit down with a bag of potato chips. So for right now, I'm able to fight that off. But there are 15 practices. Again, at uh, Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com. There's direct links to all those videos. And I'm on the final stages, the finishing touches of an embrace the boom book. So all of those practices and some of my thoughts and really sharing some old, we've talked about this, some some ancient philosopher thoughts, some ancient philosophy that I would have never, back when I was a young kid, I would have never given it a thought. I thought philosophy was a joke, but I didn't understand it. Philosophy is about the art of living. And yeah. I hope Seneca, Seneca, one of the one of those old guys, said, for as long as you live your life, learn how to live your life. And I'm still learning. Yep. Good. That's why I love Embrace the Boom, Bill. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell all our viewers uh, that they can see you with us, two most popular guys I know, on uh, on CelebratingAct2.com and YouTube slash Celebrating Act 2. So yeah, thank and, you for that. And, 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 see you. and in fact, right. on our right. YouTube right. channel, right. hold on, hold on Bill. Very important, very important. On our YouTube channel, we even have a playlist of Bill Jordan's greatest hits. So yes. you can binge watch while you're eating your um, uh, Hershey Nuggets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, and uh, pina coladas, and sweetened or unsweetened tea, depending upon your uh, 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 position in the country, be you north right. or south or west. Uh, and you can binge watch on a playlist of Bill Jordan's greatest hits. So uh, uh, please uh, come down, subscribe, and uh, see some other really great guests that we have uh, uh, who will provide not only enjoyment, but also some uh, really useful information. Well, news Art, you can use, as we say. Yeah. Art, I think we ought to give Bill the last word. Bill, sign us out. Okay, well, you know, uh, talking about this Embrace the Boom, as I like to say, live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. Embrace Amen. the boom. Brother. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends.
Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.